DJ Scream. Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station. It's Hood Rich Radio. We live. It's time for the Superstar Check-In. We got a very special Superstar Check-In today. The one and only, the legendary Monica is in the building. And she brought the trendsetter DJ Sense with her. What's up, Screen? So that means something's up their sleeves, something's going on. What's up? What's up with you people? How you doing today? Oh, Everything man. is good. Everything's Everything good? good. We've been moving day. around. Great day. Welcome to Hood Rich Radio. We're going to have a little fun. Hopefully don't, we it. won't get in too much trouble. You know, we're going to try to <laughs> try to keep it together. Monica, <laughs> let's start with you. Hi. Where you been? How you been? I'm good. I've been with my children, my family, there and working go. on this record. You know, that first priority. Yeah. Always. Absolutely. But, uh, Absolutely. They motivate me to do my thing. Yeah. And, and Mother's Day is coming up. It what is. Kind, what kind of what kind of things do you get from your kids on Mother's Day? Like they make a lot of stuff. They're okay. in school now, so they uh-huh. make a lot of really dope stuff. Like one year, my seven year old made me a bookmark of himself, like reaching for the sky. Okay, I, I believe in like a lot of things, you know, being symbolic. Uh-huh. So seeing him reach for the sky made me. Hope yeah. that that's what he does every yeah. day in school, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then my older one, he's very, very, uh, he's a thinker. Mm-hmm. So he'll come and say different things when he presents me with stuff. So yeah. it's really sweet. My one-year-old, she just like, she's the turn-up queen. She does, runs the whole house. Does it, does it seem like kids grow up faster these days? I thought it was just me, yeah. but yes. Yeah, it's yes. the technology, I think. Mm. It, I think so too and then yeah. too they have to be quicker because everything now is run you know we used to go to the airport when I see all these automated stations like it's really no jobs if you can't handle the technology and the computers yeah, so crazy. they yeah they have computer classes and everything in school that are mandatory now Trent set a sense in the building screen what so up how, how, did rich. Y- how did y'all hook up I, w- I want to hear this story how did y'all hook up to, 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 to make this record that we about to talk about oh man it goes back over 10 years 10 years to over 10 wow. years wow mm-hmm. okay you know she's like like my sister okay um, dope dope and she actually did the very first rhythm and streets mixtape dope which was crazy we were just talking about that you know me and drum had this shack in the fourth ward <laughs> why wow, she um, came to the fourth ward she came to the fourth ward i was already over there so you're from the <laughs> south brother, side so yeah. when you're from the south I'm side i'm from of- the south side but one of my brothers is from fourth ward got you so i was already over there he's like you know well, you probably i'm like man tell me where it is wow. we get there and I he like has that. the mic like made into the closet, I went right in that closet and slumped. Wow, I like that. I respect that a lot. <laughs> I respect that a lot. Yeah, so she did that mixtape, which was amazing. We did the Twenty One Questions yeah. over the Fifty Cent beat. That was yeah. around that time. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was crazy. Yeah. And that's what makes this whole project like just an amazing situation, man. It's definitely from God. Yeah. And we always talk about that. And um, right after that. Um, her song, she had so gone, that went crazy. Yeah. Then she like, yo, you want to be my DJ? Yeah. So I'm like, hell yeah, of course I want to be a DJ. And <laughs> yeah. then I end up going on the road with her. Yeah. And then here we are, 2015. And, I, you know, I decided to work on my album. Yeah. You know, you've been uh, instrumental in helping me with that. Salute, and, salute. Um, definitely. And, you know, we ha- I had this song right here. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, you know what, let's do it again. We did it again, not on the mixtape level. We gonna do it on some on, on a big on a, in a big way. How's it on the road with Monica? It's gotta be like a lot of oh, women, man. a lot of them. Oh, it's like, it's not. That but is A-list. a lot of chicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of chicks. It's a lot of women. Yeah. It is. It's a lot of. Yeah. It, it was. It's it's a little bit of everything. She do some big shows, man. We was yeah. doing. It was. Yeah. The she, good thing <laughs> is though is that I don't require a whole lot. Okay. Like once we do the shows, my main objective is to eat then sleep. Wow. So. <laughs> It's okay. not like, yeah. It's not a lot of running around. Yeah, it's not a lot of Get craziness. Yeah. yeah, I like for things to be peaceful, and especially now with the kids, it's mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I'm all about doing my absolute best every time I hit the stage mm-hmm. and then resting my body and my mind. And right. I'm just learning how important that is because even at a young age, I started having a lot of different difficulties that made it like, what's wrong with me? Right. It was just I was beating my body up, working, overworking, and yeah. just not taking care of me in the process of trying to take care of everybody else. So yeah. I'm, I'm living and learning, and he just, he's, a, I, I always tell since you're not just a DJ you're yeah. somebody that's instrumental in the city that people love and respect and so when he said he was doing a record and that this was the single and then we organically got the fellas on it it yeah. just happened the way it was supposed to yeah because I was actually working in patchwork the same night Gotti was over there oh, crazy. and when I explained it to him he was like say no more did right. his verse immediately <laughs> right right right, right like immediately yep. have you taken the strip club yet Yes, I have. You have? Did it pass the, the, the twerking yes, test? It, it absolutely. It did? Yes. yes. Okay. It passed the twerk test? It did. Yeah. I let him do all of that. Uh, okay. Ther- therapeutic With research. Your, yes, you're in a different space. That therapeutic <laughs> yes. research, I let, I let yes. Sense handle that in. Right, right. With your amazing vocals. On the, <laughs> the, ama- the amazing <laughs> nice vocals. Mix. Popping yes. and dropping to my amazing vocals. They yeah. right. love it. I, I'm with that. Okay. 
Because if they don't like it, that means you can't dance to it, period. That's true. That's, that's, some, true. that's one part that people don't understand. When you say strip club, yeah. some people don't understand that. That's the place where that is all they do all night. So if they don't feel nothing, yeah. you got a problem. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you who else. Kids will tell you the truth. If absolutely. they don't pay it, no mind. They don't remember a line or two. It's not important. Yeah, absolutely. Shouts to Fat Boy, too. He did the track, I'm right? Fat Boy, He's man. no stranger to the streets in the that's strip club. That's my guy, man. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to him. Shout out Mika Means. Co wrote yeah. the song, man. Jeezy, like I said, Gotti, Monica. And yeah. Jeezy killed his verse. He yeah. destroyed it for yeah. real. Yeah, absolutely. So we also looking forward to a, another body of work, uh, Monica. Yeah. I heard you got one uh, up your sleeve that's, that's coming. Maybe yeah. maybe as early as summertime. Absolutely. I mean, we started mixing, and you know that's a long process. Yeah. It sounds so simple. So it's actually done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dope. we wrapped up and um, Polo, Timberland, Missy. Jazzy, mm. um, Fat Boy. Mm-hmm. Fat Boy did a lot of stuff for me. <laughs> really? We went in the studio. It was supposed to be uh, two songs, I think, and mm-hmm. we just never stopped working. Yeah. But that's the way it's supposed to be, and I yeah. always take my music back to Dallas. That's the way I started. Oh. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't. I wouldn't be sitting here. Right. So I always take it back, and if he, if he not feeling it, mm. I know it's not a good fit for me. He is something about him. What he hears, he heard it at 11 years old, uh-huh. and we dropped just one of them days right by the time I got ready to turn 13. Yeah, yeah. And we just kept everything that you heard from the beginning to now. Right. I always make sure that regardless if he's producing on the record, he's mm-hmm. hearing and making sure things are right. Even mm-hmm. this record, he loved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all yeah. the way through. What kind of mood and emotion can we expect from this album? Oh, a combination. A combination. <laughs> you know, I'm known for telling the truth, screen. Yeah, I know. So I, you, yeah, I can't hold it. I, you know, I lose, a, I lose a few people because they can't handle it. But I, I just feel like the truth is all we got. Yeah. And even though my life hasn't always been perfect and it's not always been good, I feel like that's what keeps me connected to the people. They mm. know that I've been through it all, right. and I'm not ashamed of that. I mm. loved who I loved. I lived where I lived. Mm. I did what I did. Mm. I can't take that back. It makes me me. Right. So the record, I just talk about all of it. I talk about being happily married. I talk about having my children. Mm. I talk about having a broken heart. Mm. I talk about working with a broken heart and not even mm. knowing what to do with myself mm. after. I didn't leave anything out, and that's the difference in Cold Red and the album just before it because I think that I named it Code Red also because I feel like R&B is kind of like in a state of emergency. Mm. And by no means do I feel like I can fix that on my own. But every person that grew up in this game in that era, especially the era that I'm from, they Mm. have something to still contribute to the music now. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like a call out for all of us to come back together and do what we do. Mm -hmm. Because there's plenty enough room for it. You know, hip hop killing the game, but most of what we sang over for years was hip hop. We come together and make the best records. You look at Mary and Method. That's the best of both worlds yeah, you look yeah. at i mean i can name a hundred songs what right do, now what do you think r&b took that turn though like i, I personally and me since talk about this yeah. i think some of it some of the younger people just miss soul meaning that when you go in there you're coming from here mm-hmm. and a lot of people are so focused on hit 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 as opposed to just soul and and, and of course we came up on you know marvin Gaye's yeah. and mm-hmm. people who had soul and they they really sung their heart out but what do you think like it kind of took a turn for we won't say the worst but it just took a turn to go the other way you know what, I say this with the utmost respect, but they started trying to manufacture things. Mm-hmm. What was special about Brandy sang songs that were true to her, mm-hmm. sitting up in my room and all these different songs, her mm-hmm. tone was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Or you look at Aaliyah, our Kel- Kel's made, you know, he made it easy for her to just be her. Mm-hmm. She dressed dope. She had a, all of us were individuals, but we were still being mm-hmm. us. Me, I was the sassy girl from the South with the mm-hmm. big mouth. Mm-hmm. That's still me. You <laughs> right, know, I right. think now they're trying to manufacture things that don't exist within mm-hmm. different people. And so it's, it doesn't feel real. Mm-hmm. If you let, if you take these artists and, and you help them to be who they are and still give them records that really fit them. I got a lot of hit records brought to me that other people made hits, but I knew they weren't for Monica. They mm. didn't represent Monica. Every Your time brand. I do yep. something that doesn't represent me or I ain't lived it or I, I didn't breathe it, I didn't feel it, mm. you can feel it. Mm. You know, so I just don't do that. And I think that's the, the part that's missing. The soul is missing because there is no soul in it. They're not mm. speaking from their own hearts mm. and their own minds. They're mm. not living in their own truth. Mm. That's just my opinion. ATL in here, Philly in here. Let's talk about ATL real quick, though, man. Uh, Monica, you a Hawks fan? Huh? Are you a Hawks fan? <laughs> I'm a fan of whoever my husband play for. Okay, got you. You know, they can that talk about sense. me all they want, but I don't even know how to lie. I try. I like that answer. That was a good <laughs> answer. That was a great answer. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Whatever jersey he put on, I'm, yes. But you that said, don't huh? feel weird being in Atlanta knowing that the Hawks have a chance and 
Uh uh-uh, uh, because okay. he don't play for the whole. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> they don't cut the but, check. Yeah, well, no, not even that. Like I ride for my people to the end. That's what's up. And does. I believe that she sometimes really I, I mean sometimes so hard that I have to look back at my own self. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me hold me up a little bit. <laughs> right. But I mean, right. I really I was never into sports, and so after we met and fell in love and yeah. got married, all that, I started yeah. watching, gotcha. and I just can't root for nobody if he's not on the mm-hmm. team. That's I real. just can't find it in me. I go for the Falcons. I mean, what are y'all comments on some of the things that's going on? You have Charleston, South Carolina. You have a situation right here in Atlanta, Georgia, and Smyrna, Georgia. You have obviously what's going on in Baltimore, um, you know, uh, St. Louis. Yeah. You know, what happened up there? Like, uh, what are y'all thoughts on just the whole situation? You know, I've just been praying uh, nonstop because I think the situation is so much bigger than one person, one Mm -hmm. city, one state, one Mm -hmm. incident. Mm -hmm. You see it's continuously happening. So it's something within what the atmosphere is trying to, I think there's a message being Mm -hmm. pushed to us that we've all Mm -hmm. yet to receive. And Mm -hmm. the devastation that you see is the frustration of the people. Mm -hmm. They don't really know what else to do. Mm -hmm. But I think that there is a way for our voices to be heard and Mm -hmm. our feelings Mm -hmm. to be understood. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to bind together because what we're doing right now is we are pushing the ideas they have of us even even further by being destructive and, mm. and doing things that could actually get our sons killed, mm. our sons and daughters mm. and mothers. And that's why you see when this lady runs out and she grabs her son up, hmm. she was absolutely right because she saved her son's life. Mm. You mm. know, so I think that's why that got so much attention because there's a greater message and we're going to have to get together. There's no one person that can do it. As you see, each city has gone through something different yeah. and every mm. time it happens, it, it gets seems worse. Like a little worse. Yeah, yeah mm. and now you see a state of emergency and it's just continuing. And the way I explain explained it to my sons was that this this is their frustration speaking these are the actions of those of frustration and this is not necessarily the best way but they're fighting for their voices to be heard Mm -hmm. and we're gonna really have to go back to the days of how Martin Luther King and they they would bond together they would do things together Mm -hmm. and they did it in such a peaceful manner that even when they were being uh negative to us and fighting us and you know caning us and sicking dogs on us and things of that nature Mm -hmm. We still stood for something that even to this day they cannot tear apart. Mm, that's why mm. movies like Selma and stuff like that, that's why they're so important now. Right. So we're going to have to get back to that in order to make some real change because mm. as much as I understand the frustration I see, I can't necessarily say that that's going to bring about the change right. that we need. Exactly. So there is a way. What do you think is the first step? The first step is going to be all of us coming together. Got you. Not at different times, mm. not in different cities, not mm. in different places. Mm. You know, we've made songs about our president. It's mm. time for us to have a sit down with mm. him. Mm. We've done a lot of different things that I think um, you you see a lot of artists that are very intelligent. They make make lots of different types of music. You can see even Jeezy on his Instagram today mm. was he he said some very poignant things. Mm. But I think it's time for us to take all of that to. Mm. Some yeah, action. Take it here. Right. Yeah, we got to take it and, and create the action and do mm-hmm. it together. I mean, because you see, it's not getting any better. It's crazy. What you think, Sense? I mean, just even picking up on what Mo was talking about, man. Like, what I'm seeing is, and how she was saying, like, it gets worse each city. Mm-hmm. What I'm seeing is, it's really a definition of the oppressed and the, and the, the youth that is not receiving opportunities. Um, they're not feeling like they're involved mm-hmm. with, with with what's going on in, in the progression mm-hmm. on, in certain eyes. And what's happening is there's so many un- uneducated youth in, in, in those type of urban areas mm-hmm. that they don't know how to express themselves. Mm-hmm. So what do they do? It's destruction. Destruction. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, there's nobody that's – there's no leaders within the community mm-hmm. or, you know, there's leaders, but is anybody taking the time to – create opportunity it comes from the polit from the politics to all the way on down right and there's no guidance on what should i do so it causes destruction it's like caged animals you right. know monica we're waiting on a new album <laughs> uh anything else up your sleeve movies not yet you products know, that women can buy anything yeah it's gonna be a lot of products a lot of products <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> women love products yeah, they love strength. products, love products. Yeah. i um i'm actually doing a baby infant clothing line Dope. called Love Struck. Dope. And it's in the preliminary stages, so I'm trying to get it all together, but I think that's going to be really, really uh, fun for me because 
I know what I'm looking for when I'm ha- when I've had my children, the things mm-hmm. I can't find that I need, especially being a mom that travels and works and mm-hmm. just stays in motion. Mm-hmm. And of course, Cole read the album. I'm finishing up like the features and the mixing and mastering and just trying to get it ready so that this summer mm-hmm. I can really just take my time and reach out to all the people that have supported me for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just thankful. Mm-hmm. It's That's no me so. without them. And thank you for great music. Oh, it man. makes it easy to be a fan when you make good music. You know <laughs> how you're a fan you. of somebody and they put out some bad music and you're like, oh, I want to be a fan so bad. But <laughs> it music. happens, though, because yeah. we humans, so as yeah. things change, you know, you're trying to find your way. And the hard part about having a lot of hit records is continuing to make hit yeah. records yeah. because you don't want to think about hit records. You want to think about good music. Yeah. You know, and when you are part of labels and different things like that, you can never erase your history. So it's almost like you're always fighting it. Yeah. But, you know, I'm grateful because it always gives me something to look back on and pull some encouragement from and that's what I did with Cold Red. What up DJ Scream? Corey was happening. Spins on the beat. Is it was ready? Yo, you better not change the station.